Okay, so you've determined how you want your shower to function and how you want it to look. That's the fun part. Now that all that's left is going behind the wall to determine what you need to make the magic happen in your new shower. In previous temp trial videos, we talked about different configurations for a shower, tub, and handspring. Well, each of those choices is going to help determine what valve and options are going to be used behind the wall. The valve numbers can be a little tricky at first, but once you become familiar with the part numbers and options, it's all fairly straightforward. Let's take a look at these similar valves with slight differences in their options. If your shower design features shower only with no volume control, the valve number is 262 body. This valve body can be used for two functions or just one by plugging the opposing port. If your shower includes a volume control as part of the valve, that valve number is a S261 body. The S indicates the volume control or diverter in the valve, and the one indicates one function. If your shower also includes a tub spout or a handspray that has a diverter built into the valve, that valve number is S262 body. The S indicates the volume control or diverter in the valve, and the two indicates two functions, tub and shower. In states where a non-shared diverter is required, Simmons offers two and three function diverter valves to meet those code requirements. There are so many variations, it would be impossible to cover them all here. So here's a breakdown of the Temtrol options and their designations in the valve number. Integral diverter or volume control on the valve. If your shower diverts water to another function or controls the volume of water, that valve begins with the letter S. Integral service stops. Integral service stops enable you to shut the water off right at the valve, and that valve number includes the letter X. Integral check stops. Integral check stops enable you to shut the water off right at the valve, and because they have check valves built in, they also prevent cross connections if there's a drop in pressure somewhere in the system, or the water is somehow shut off after the valve. If you need these integral check stops for your application, your valve number will include the letters CHKS. Reverse seats. For valves that need the hot and cold piping reversed, like back-to-back -back installations, that valve number will include the letters RV, Rapid Install Bracket. For quicker installations, use the Rapid Install Bracket and include the letters BR in the valve number. Test Cap. Valve numbers that begin with the numbers 1-6 indicate that the valve will come fitted with a test cap in place of the spindle and cap assembly. Just one thing to note on this option. The test cap is used for testing the plumbing system after installation and the spindle and cap assembly must be ordered separately and installed after testing is complete. The easiest way to get the cap and cartridge is to simply order them along with your trim kit. To do this, just include the letters TC when ordering your trim kit. So, if you wanted the standard Allura tub and shower trim kit, that would be a 4702 TRM. To include the TA10 and T12A cap and cartridge, the part number becomes 4702 TRM TC. Now, Let's take a simple base valve and add some of the functions we just discussed one by one to get some different functions. One of our most popular configurations is the S262 body, which is a simple tub and shower combination. With this valve, the S indicates that the water is diverted between the tub and shower using the diverter lever that's mounted right on the valve. Using the info we just learned, if we take that same S262 body and add integral check stops, the result would be an S262 X CHKS body. How about just standard integral service stops instead of check stops? That's an S262X body. Reverse seats? You'll end up with an S262RV body. How about adding a rapid install bracket? That's an S262BR body. Now, here's a tricky one. The same valve with a test cap. That will be an S162 body because of the number 1-6 indicator. Any Temptrol valve that begins with the 1-6 indicates a test cap. So as you can see, you can insert any of these options into the valve number to get the features you want. And they're cumulative, so you're not just limited to one option. They stack like building blocks to ensure you get all the functions you want. So if we took that same S262 body and added integral check stops and a rapid install bracket, we'd have an S262X CHKS BR body. Or that same S262 body with a test cap, integral service stops, and reverse seat would be an S162X RV body. Get the picture? Simmons has loads of information available on Simmons.com to help you along as you learn. And before you know it, you'll be rattling off valve numbers like a pro. 
The next determination you'll need to make behind the wall is what type of piping material will be used so you can order the Temtron. We'll go through more in-depth piping and connections in the next video, but it's important to know now what type of piping material will be used so you can order the correct valve. There are many types of piping materials, and where you live and what type of home or building can also play a part. But here's some great news. Temtrol is available with factory installed connections for virtually all approved piping materials. Standard valves are fitted for copper sweat and IPS threaded. To change the connections to CPVC, PEX, or ProPress, add the related two character modifier to match the piping material. This modifier will be added to the valve number, just like we did with the function options before. Temtrol valves can be ordered for copper sweat and IPS threaded. Standard, no modifier needed. CPVC, CP, PEX crimp, P1, PEX cold expansion, P2, copper propress, P3. So, taking our S262 body example from earlier, if we were to install this valve onto copper piping using propress, that number would be S262 P3 body. And it would shift from the factory with propress connections installed right onto the valve. Temtrol factory installed connectors make it easy straight from the box and ready to go. No crazy adapters or clunky fittings. Just clean, compact, simple connections that make installation go smooth. And with that, we've wrapped up the function options and piping choices for determining the Temtrol that's right for you. I know there was a lot to absorb, but hopefully you learned the foundation of the valves, functions, and connections. There are a ton of great resources on Simmons.com to help you along if you have any questions. Now, once you've determined the valve that you need, we'll change into our work clothes and break out the tools for our next video, connections and installation.